Number 36, engineering application. Near the top of the Citigroup building in New York City, there is an object of, with mass of four times 10 to the five kilograms on springs that have adjustable force constants. Its function is to dampen the wind-driven blah, 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 blah. Letter A, what is the effective force constant should the springs have to make the object oscillate with a period of two seconds? So basically, they tell us the mass, they also tell us the period, and we gotta find effective force constant, and you know it's oscillating. Right, so we'll assume it's simple harmonic motion, and therefore we're going to use the formula that the period of uh, some object oscillating in simple harmonic motion will be equal to 2 pi multiplied then by the mass of the object that is oscillating divided by the force constant. So basically all this tells me is that if I know T and I know M, I can find K, right? And they told me T and M. They told me the period and they told me the mass. So just solve this thing for K. So we're going to divide out the 2 pi from both sides. So it's T over 2 pi. That's equal to now square root of M over K. Square root both sides, excuse me, square both sides, so now it's going to be t over 2 pi squared is going to be equal to mass divided by spring constant or force constant. Solve this thing for k. Move the k out of the denominator on the right up into the numerator on the left, and then move the thing that's basically in the numerator. You might not say, well, what do you mean? This is really over 1, right? So I'm going to take that thing and just move it on down to the bottom over there. And there's the formula. All we're going to do is plug it in. So the force constant is going to be the mass, which is 4 times 10 to the 5th, all divided by the period, which they told us is 2 seconds, divided by 2 pi squared. All right, and let's see. So it's going to be 4, divi uh, excuse me, four times uh, 10 to the 5th, divided now by basically 1 over pi, right? 1 over pi, and that's squared. So what do we get? We get a spring constant of about 3.5. 9.5-ish, looks like, times 10 to the 3, 6, right? And that is going to be in terms of uh, newtons per meter. All right, so that takes care of that. And now, uh, letter B is going to be, let's see. Letter B, what energy is stored in the springs for a 2-meter displacement from equilibrium? So we're talking about energy, spring energy, that's simple, right? I mean, this, this is just a run-through now. So potential energy that's inherent in a spring will be equal to one half times the force constant multiplied by the displacement of that spring squared. And this is just simply plug in, all right? So this is one half times that force constant of about three, uh, 3.95 times 10 to the sixth, all then multiplied by two meters squared. And let's see what we get. So we're gonna take that value, multiply by 0.5, then multiply by two squared. So we get a potential energy of about 7.5 nine zero or so times 10 raised to the three looks like six right times 10 raised to the sixth okay so that should make sense it's about double i mean obviously you know this worked out to four there's a half so it's just two multiplied by the um force constant all right guys thanks for tuning in hope that helped please remember to help us out and subscribe and we'll see you next time take care